This is my 68 Chevelle Super Sport, the lock. It's given me a uh, problem. So I have to take this and switch it out. So I, I had it, have to uh, go get it rekeyed because um, it's giving me a problem. So I had this car for about 10 years now. So let me show you uh, what I need to do to take this lock off uh, to replace it right here. So that's giving me an issue. So I'm going to open this up. I disconnected the light because in these old cars the, uh, the light stays on. So let me just start it up for you guys. I'll let you guys hear it. Let me know what you guys think. So... It is. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Um, gonna be taking off. I'm gonna show you how to take off these handles here and this so you could access the lock that's in the back. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. I am going to I am going to set up the tripod um, to hold the camera, and I'll show you exactly uh, how to take that apart without damaging anything and the tools that you need. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to show you the tools that you're going to need uh, right here. So you're going to need a a large Phillips screwdriver, which is a number three, a number two Phillips screwdriver, and this tool right here, it is a door uh, handle remover. You could buy these at any parts store. Um, so this works by sliding this piece in here and finding that little clip that holds it. And once you find that little clip, um, all you do is just push it out like this and then this should be should be able to remove Just like that Okay, there's the clip you see that little clip right there little horseshoe clip That's uh, what you need to depress and then everything comes out. So remove this piece here um, And you do the same thing to this handle Slide that in there like that find that that little clip um, and it should depending on how they installed it it should come oh, there it goes you hear that pop and then you could just easily remove that simple as that I got to find that little clip ring that fell here it is found it right here this little clip ring so make sure you don't lose these okay um, now the handle one, this handle one is a little different to remove. You have to remove three screws. One is here, the other one is down there, and the other one is right here. So you need to remove those screws. I'm using the number three. Just loosen that up a little bit, and then loosen this one up a little bit. Sometimes they're a little tricky, depending on uh, what angle they're they're uh, installed. There you go. Okay, and then this one down here, which is a number two. So take that off. I'm gonna remove the lower one. All right, and then some panels. Uh, have screws down here and I just noticed mine does not have any screws holding this vinyl and it's actually coming undone so I have to repair that I didn't notice that with this humidity that we're having out here everything's moving so and I didn't notice that before so I have to repair that um, but in the meantime just remove these three screws I'm gonna put the uh, camera on the tripod like I mentioned before, and I'm gonna uh, 
show you how, how it's done with two hands. So let me do that and I'll be right back. So you uh, just remove these screws like I mentioned. I hope you guys could see and I'm not blocking your view. Um, so you take this off. Okay. Just like that. I'm gonna put this down here. And this pan this piece just slides down, okay? And here's the here's the little clip ring I was talking about. And this you could remove uh, with a flat screwdriver or you could use your fingers and just pop that out. Um, remove it that way. Okay, and then just move this gently out, okay. I like to put the clip back on the handle so it doesn't get lost. So just want to show you that right there. So it doesn't matter which way you put it on, this side or this side, it still works. Um, then you remove that. So the only thing you're left with now is to remove the, the handle up here. Um, but there's these clips that hold the, this panel on. There's three or four on this side, right along here, I'm gonna show you. And then there's three or four on that side. So the way you remove them is you use this tool again, this specific tool, and you come in behind this panel and you, you, gently, you gently pry away from the door, all right, as you work your way down. And then once you pry that away, you can see how it's coming undone, okay? Just like that. So now this side is completely free. I'm going to do this side, so let me turn the camera around and I'll be right back. Just remove this part here to remove your door, okay? This little latch, okay? That's done. Now... Hold on a second. If you look right in here, there's that seam that I was telling you about. It's on the other side. So you gently stick your tool in here and you pry away gently. And then you'll see that it hits those clips. And then there's a clip right there. See that? I don't know if you could see that. There's a clip right in there. There's approximately three clips on each side, maybe four. So now that's done, okay? So now this, this whole door panel's loose, see that? Okay, now this is removed here so it doesn't bind. And if you look over here um, on the 68 Chevelles, um, there's a little metal tab here that holds this tight against this window. So when I remove it, you need two hands. So you gently grab on this side, on the right, and one on the left, right here. And you lift up gently, and what happens, it, it lets free along this rail because there's a metal bar on this door panel that holds it in place. I'm gonna... This is a bad angle, so I can't really put my camera on the tripod to catch everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you but with one hand, so I... Lifted this up, it's free, okay? There's a metal bar, like I mentioned, running across. And then when you get to this part of the window, there's a there's a angle that comes up, a little piece of metal that holds it tight to this window. So if you gently lift, okay, there it is. See that? So the door panel is free, okay? And here's that angle that I was telling you. This keeps the panel tight against here. The metal bar on the panel sits right in here okay so that keeps it tight to the window and this bar here keeps it tight to here so this, this is the metal bar let me show you uh, right here so this is the metal right along this door panel that sits in that channel so now once that's all done and complete I wanted to show you okay here are the holes for where those clips sit in, okay? There's three. Three on the right side of the door, and there's three on the left side of the door, okay? So now, what I wanna do is get in there 
I'm going to turn the camera off and get a light and show you. Okay, I just got a light. There's the lock in there. Let me show you. Okay, you see the mechanism? So what happens now is, let's see if I can get my hand in here. What happens now is this piece is part of the lock right here, okay? You have to remove this clip. That's what holds the lock to the door, okay? So I'm going to show you. All you have to do is pretty much pull this towards you, okay? Wiggle it back and forth a little bit. You might need a pair of pliers, but gently remove that piece, okay? And there it is. This is the, this is the piece right here. Okay, you see how it's shaped to hold pressure against the lock? And that's all that is. Okay, so now what you have to do is come on the outside of the car and pull the lock. Let's do that. Okay, we are on the outside of the lock and you can see the, the black gasket around there. That's so it doesn't chip your paint. Okay, so you gently pull this off. Okay and there it is this is the lock okay so now i'm going to take it get it keyed and come back all right so let's do that okay i got the lock uh, everything's done it works i'm going to try it when i install it um before i put the panel on this rubber gasket let me show you this rubber gasket here has a um little ring indentation on it on both sides so that sits right right here on the lock you see that that's a little raised part of the lock on both sides so that's where that gasket sits so when, when you install it make sure that this piece sits um, right where those those indentations are on your rubber gasket so it it doesn't squash the gasket and it's easier for you to install that clip. Okay, perfect. So now it's in there. Everything lines up. So when you install it, let me show you. If, I don't know if you can see it. But there's that metal rod for your, uh, your, door, your door latch right in there. You see that? That's that metal rod. So what you have to do is make sure that that piece goes in that area that's what actually works your mechanism okay so that's in there and that's it just like that okay so that's lined up perfectly and what you have to do is you have to uh, install this clip so there it is up from the inside without the clip being installed so I'm going to install this clip. Uh, I'm going to try to do it with one hand. So hopefully you guys can see. Hold on. All right, there you go. That's a better shot of it from the other side. So I'm going to slide this in there like that. Okay, and then you just push this in. There you go. All right, and that's that holds that holds that lock in place, so it won't come out. I'm actually going to turn the camera off for a second and make sure that's in there properly. So I'll be right back. Okay, everything's in there, nice and tight, and it's perfect, and it's lined up. So now what I'm going to do is make sure that this works, um, so I'm not doing this twice. So let me be right back. Okay. So let's shut this, okay, and see if I can lock and unlock it. Yep, perfect. See the, the bar inside there going up and down? That's up, that's down, up, down, perfect. So it actually worked. And now I can put this all back together. Okay, so I'm ready to install it. So the only thing is make sure that you have your, your clips in place over here and in the back. So 
what I'm going to do is you have to start from up top. So this is where the metal channel goes, okay? So what you need to do is line this up with this window part here because that's where it's going to, to go. And then you just line it up. Okay. And just gently push down until it's in place like that, okay? And uh, the only thing that's gonna give you a hard time is this little latch over here. So you need to move uh, this around a little bit. There you go. Okay, and you might have to adjust it that way, pull it towards the front a little bit, make sure everything's lined up, make sure these holes line up. So now all you have to do is line up these clips that hold the panel to the door. So, what I end up doing is just coming over here and looking down, lining the hole up, and gently pushing in place, okay? And then you'll feel it click, okay? And then you got two, I got two over there, I should put another one in, but for the video's sake, I'm just gonna put the two. So, push that in, line that up, push that in, okay? Now that's, that's installed there. That's complete. So then what I end up doing is installing this per first. So what I do first is put this on like this and I take the handle, uh, the door handle that opens the door, put that on, clip that in, in place, just like that, make sure that's on there. Okay, so then this is installed, won't come out, holds this plastic piece. Then I take this uh, door handle, put that on, Take the screw, put that in place, and uh, I just I just end up making this snug. I don't I don't uh, make it tight in case I need this for adjustment. Okay, so let's see here. There you go. Line the holes up. So that's in there. So, like I said, don't make it tight so you could have uh, room for adjustment. Okay, and then I take the other screw and put it at the bottom. Take my big handle and this plastic piece to protect your door put that on uh clip this in place because it moved okay and all you do is just push it in and it locks so let's do that one and like i said if you guys have screws on the bottom of the panel uh now's a good time to to install them down here I don't have those screws. I didn't realize that, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and and do that down the line. And then you just push this in, like I said, you push it in like that one. Hear a little click, and everything's everything works well. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, please like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Um, I like to thank my new subscribers. I like to thank all my subscribers. Actually, I uh, really appreciate your support and thank you again. Um, so this is how you do it. If you want to see something uh, that I didn't make a video of, let me know and uh, I'll try to make a video of it. If not, um, you know, I'll get back to you. Get back to me. Let me know. Let's have a conversation. So other than that, you're 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 complete. So everything's nice and tight. I got to put the little. Uh, doorknob lifting thing up here all right so you put that in uh, and I got to clean the window from touching it so clean that up and then we're done all right well thanks again uh, thank you thanks to everyone who subscribed to me and I'll see you on the next one